right, Jesse on fire. Welcome back to the channel. Yes! The Kozla Shemaev and Leon Edwards fight is canceled, you guys. Like, yes! Finally. I was really hoping that they were going to cancel it. Like, when I heard that uh, Kozla Shemaev had COVID, I was like, oh my gosh, maybe they're going to cancel it. Please cancel it. Cancel it. I'm not excited for this fight at all. And then when he said he's good to go, I was like, oh, man. Ugh. Why can't he just submit to COVID, okay? Submit. Submit to coronavirus. Just tap out, you know? He just didn't want to tap. And then I found out Leon Edwards had it, and Leon tapped out. And I was like, awesome. Yes. Perfect. Yes. I was really hoping that we wouldn't get to see this fight. It's not the fight I've been most excited about all year. Nope. So... Thanks again, Leon. Yeah, I am not stoked that this fight is canceled. Uh, there's literally no one else that I want to see that comes with Shemaya fight more. But given that this guy has made his name off of taking short notice fights and then just turning around really quickly, I have an idea. So all anybody's been talking about is that this fight's canceled. I have an idea. Now, some of you guys who follow me on Instagram may be able to guess what that is. How about you backfill his opponent December 19th with a middleweight. Hmm. What do you think about that? Because then even if he loses, right? Even if he loses, although seems kind of unlikely at this point, but even if he loses, he still could fight Leon Edwards early in 2021 in his next fight because it has no impact on his welterweight career whatsoever, right? I mean, I'm just saying, so... You know, hopefully they don't do that. You know, like, yay, they canceled this fight. Like, you know, hopefully they don't rebook him because no one wants to see Kamsa Chimaya fight. Like, no one's excited about that. Like, thanks, Leon. <laughs> you know, no one ever... Uh... <sighs> Leon Edwards, at least in his defense, I think in this case, it's probably around, like, he can't travel or something. You know, he lives in the UK. The UK is crazy about them some coronavirus, man. And the fight's in... I don't know what two and a half weeks. I don't know. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Leon a pass on this one because he lives in the UK. I'm gonna choose to blame the UK, and I'm gonna choose to blame the virus and not blame Leon Edwards this time. Uh, but if comes to Chimaev is ready to go, I I'm I'm saying throw a middleweight at him, feed him middleweight, feed the man a middleweight, put him keep him on the card. Just like I don't know, like find the biggest name at middleweight that's not a huge strike. Like don't put him against like you know. Don't give. I, someone commented. I, so I suggested this. I like give him a, a middleweight and then let him fight. You know, uh, you know, Leon Edwards at the beginning of twenty twenty one. And someone goes, "Yeah, give him a, give him Romero." And I was like, mm, "That's not a good idea." Okay, like I, I'm not saying he can't win, but like, what I was saying is give it like feed him someone. Okay, you don't feed Romero to anyone. Okay. He is a killing machine. He'll be 60, and he'll still be a huge terror. Uh, not that anyone will know that if he's 60. He could be 25 right now. He could be 50. No one knows. It doesn't matter. He has the genetics of uh, one of those like one of those cows with a genetic disorder that uh, you know they do nothing but pound muscle or uh, compound muscle. It, just disregard that. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to think like who who could they give? Because people keep going like, oh, give him Neil Magny. I'm like, no, you're missing the point, dude. You're missing the point. He is, has the perfect matchup at welterweight. Perfect, okay? He has the perfect matchup at welterweight. Don't mess with welterweight, all right? Don't, there's no point. Like, you can't get him to a better, he's, he's fighting Leon Edwards. It is the perfect fight at welterweight, so don't, don't mess with that. But middleweight now, he likes to fight a middleweight. And as I remember, the last time he fought a middleweight, he dirt napped him in 17 seconds, so... Give him another middleweight. Give him someone that's in the top 15. Like someone like, you know, between 15 and 10 would be my suggestion. Uh, but yeah, you know. And everybody, if they're smart, should be lining up to fight him. Like I've been talking about, go try to take that hype. If you want to make it, all of a sudden you want to make something out of your fucking career, go get it. Who's Cheeto Vera fighting next, right? Cheeto Vera takes the O'Malley fight. Everyone's all Cheeto Vera. They're all looking up his, oh, he's on a six fight winning streak. Wow. I didn't know who he was. He beats Sean O'Malley. Everybody knows who he is now. Now he's fighting Jose Aldo. Look at that, right? Look at that. So everyone should be lining up for that comes at Shemaya fight. Okay. So if I was your manager, I would say, go get it. But I understand if Dana has him positioned exactly where he wants him to be, which is against Leon Edwards and he doesn't want to mess around with it. I get it. But the fans want to see him fight. So throw him the middleweight. Let's go. That's what I got. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. Peace.